hey, this batting stance guy, and if you didn't watch baseball this week, here's what you missed. You missed the official Welcome to the Major Leagues week of a future star and current star in Mike Stanton. Wait, Mike Stanton, the lefty reliever for the Braves, or the righty starter from the 80s? No. Sherman Oaks, Notre Dame High School, where we are standing right here, Mike Stanton, the one on the Florida Marlins. Basically the dude that went five for five and hit the ball basically out of Nationals Park and put together such a week that very quietly he has 14 home runs in half the games as any other rookie that's ahead of him in the home run race. Amazing. That dude is going to be good for a long, long time. And he played high school ball right here. Second thing you missed, you only missed two other things. You missed the brawl, Reds and Cardinals, which a lot of people said was bad. I liked that teams actually stood up for themselves and had some team mentality. And it shed light on a stance that nobody knows, which is Brandon Phillips. So basically, Brandon Phillips got the psyche of the nation with this fantastic stance. So when he swings, he grounds out to the second baseman. The good news is that Brandon Phillips now is in everybody's mind. Last thing you missed was some magic. Mainly down in Texas, in San Francisco, but also you missed bad magic in the bullpens of both the Red Sox and the Dodgers. They blew colossal leads in Philadelphia, Toronto, Texas. Even Mariano Rivera gave up a walk-off hit to David Murphy. Then you had Nelly Cruz <laughs> that made Tim Wakefield have the same stat line he had against Aaron Boone in 03. Gazus! So there's magic with the antler. There's magic. Nelly Cruz now has the same amount of walk-off hits this season as Andres Torres. And that is a lot. Pat the Bat showed up for the Giants. Huge week, lots of magic. Sorry, Red Sox and Dodgers. Not a good week for you, for your bullpen. It's a long season, but it's a great one. So stay tuned.